At the end of last video, I was at ground level, but at the beginning of this video, I am now on this large stair. And that is the power of video games. Hi everybody, I'm Krep, and I'm still playing Super Mario Bros. X thing, and get this! I've got two cacti, and oh dang, it's the first Yelp Gambler video level level in the game. It's oh shoot! They shoot. By Yelp Gambler. We're gonna We're gonna get into it, and they shoot, and we're probably gonna get shot at because they shoot. Tunnel Rhino music, you know, everyone's favorite song from Mega Man X3. But I'm not everyone. Oh, jeez. They didn't specify what they shoot. Apparently, it's several things. We've got Furbas. We've got all curled up caterpillars over there. This is clearly a very dangerous area. They do also shoot power-ups, though power-ups that we don't need, because we have cacti. Power-ups that we need, because we don't have cacti. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, pro tip, don't rush. We'll get you nowhere in a world like this. You have to trust what you know, and what you know is... rushing, so actually don't trust what you know. <laughs> trust something else. Stop rushing. Stop rushing, grab that beat. Land on a Goopa, take its shell. That's the secret to taking control of your life. As told by me. I don't know why I tried to go the low way last time. The upper way is clearly the safer way. Look at that. Heck yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so they always do that silly small jump, big jump thing when they come out. I always do that silly bonk my head on the ceiling. Whew, that was smooth. Alright, let's uh, time ourselves here. Okay, we're on the other side of that miserable pit with the Furbas being shot up. Thought it wasn't going to be that bad, and then suddenly it really was. <laughs> pretty cool. Liking the video games on display here. You know, I'm not sure I'm happy about these caterpillars just getting shot in a lava like this. Seems, uh, I don't know, a little inhumane, maybe? Who knows, maybe those caterpillars are going to have, like, meaningful lives before you decide to shoot them directly into lava. Oh, okay, we can't, we can't jump over this one. <laughs> There's no way. But that's fine, it's not as bad of a challenge as it looks, being honest. Puh. okay. We didn't time ourselves well through the wall, but you know what? That's fine. Any of these blocks got maybe a cactus for us? Yes. Haha, <laughs> Toad can't hit the block. Haha, <laughs> Toad can't hit the block. I'm sorry, Toad. I used to bully Toads in high school. It's a hard habit to, to kill off. Huh, that actually worked out, timing-wise. Oh yeah, right, the... Now we're getting the the big old several shell shooters. We do several shell shot platforming. Which is a really fun little thing. Really fun little bit of a thing to have to need to do. Huh. Would have been nice if I had maybe timed that so that the extra head made for a little longer platform, but you know what? I didn't do that. Uh, all I want is my power up, and I died. I felt unsafe. Oh. It was supposed to be five heads, one of them just despawned for some reason. That's strange, and made my life harder for no reason. Uh, you know what, we're just gonna go through here. Oh no! No, really? I 
don't even have to jump there. If I just stand kind of middle left, they'll just jump over me. These are the things you don't notice when you're rushing all the time. And yet, I will never change. Ugh, that can happen sometimes. Uh, and then that was just, uh, yeah, that was... Uh... Check it out. I'm fine. Right here. I can get my power up. I can duck. Fireball that. And then make it through here somehow slightly-ish. Good lord. Okay. We're doing this now. Huh, okay. So every other one's gonna get knocked out by a caterpillar. Alright, we're we're really ramping things up now. Uh, you know what, that works too. Not what I wanted to do, but it works. Honestly, that was a really cool level. Pretty difficult. But really, really well constructed. And with a lot of interesting and unusual challenges that are really only possible in this engine. Uh, I do have... It, it did, it, there's this one spot to kind of highlight a pet peeve I have with the SNBX engine, though, which is that... You, as the player character, don't have inertia from platforms. That one doesn't have power up in it. You don't have inertia from platforms that move and the like. So if you ever, if you ever say, jump off a moving platform, you will not follow the moving platform. Wait, this, this also gives you a cactus. Oh, nice. Such good power-up blocks in the World 8 hub. Uh, but if an enemy lands on a moving platform, and, like, has to bounce, it will bounce with inertia from the platform's movement. Even though it touched the platform for a millisecond. It's weird, and it doesn't feel good. But you know what? We're gonna play another level, because none of what I just said had, any had anything to do with us playing another level or not. Timed Jumps on Moving Everything by Doko Popper, which is a great name for a level. This has three leaks, and suddenly I'm scared that I might regret this decision. Oh! It's TikTok Clock! I forgot! I remember TikTok clock. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this this level has a bunch of um bunch of little timed mechanism platforms like that little pusher there that you just got to deal with. It's got this platform right here which is a little slippery <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why it's got that platform up there which is less slippery but smaller and I bonked my head on it just trying to get over here. What good fun. Every single one of these platforms is memorable in a different and not great way. <laughs> and we're just going to see what we can do here. This one, I remember a lot better than the last couple of levels. And I think I remember most of what I have to do for the leaks. One of them has to do with getting all the red coins, I remember, because... You know, hey, it's TikTok Clock, it's a very Super Mario 64 level, so of course you gotta do some, some, uh, open, open level shenanigans. Like, collect a -thoning. It's time to do the 2D collect -a -thon. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. So this one, you gotta time a jump on it so you can jump up there. What good fun we're having today. Don't get crushed between that teeny little platform and the doorway that's right next to it. You will get crushed, and it will be sad, and there won't be cake. I'm just gonna let you blow up that other one. Do my work for me. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Platform is moving around a bunch. Whenever I'm stationary on a platform. I move entirely with it, but whenever I'm skidding, I do not. And that's another thing that feels really bad in this engine. Especially as Iris, but you know what? Ooh, what? Okay. Then you no notice there was a bomb behind that clock. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna fall down here because it's safer. 
you out of here. I think there's a power up here? No? No? There is! Goodness gracious me, thank goodness. Thank things. Okay, so I think... I think we want the stopwatch for something over here. Something like that. I'm gonna make this first jump without it, because I can. For sure. That's the other thing with this level, is that because it's based a lot on TikTok clock and Mario 64 vertical style, level style designing in general, your punishment for missing a jump isn't usually death and having to redo things from a spot and like having a feeling of resetting. It's having to redo part of the level because you fell back down to it, which sometimes feels worse. It's weird. It's hard to describe. Game design is a difficult beast. Another red coin right here. Well, there's there's the main leak. It's just up there. That switch did something. Oh, there's another stopwatch over here. I can't remember what we want stopwatches for, to be honest. Oh! It opens up the midpoint. That's what that switch does. So, okay. I think we still need to figure out how the heck we're going to get to the top. Because I haven't figured it out. Oh, was this platform here before? The one with the pipe on it? Oh yeah, it must have been, right? Because wasn't that piranha plant shooting at me already when I was over on the right side here? Some stuff was happening, I think. Ugh, but you know, don't don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for anything. Don't even listen to me. Don't even think about the words I'm saying. Oh my god, I'm actually up here now. I think I'm going to keep a lot of that last little bit in, because it's really... Everything that just happened is very evocative of, quote-unquote, what this level is like. Oh no. Come on, just let me stay up here, please. Where am I going from this platform? Over to the left? I guess so. Let me just get rid of you. Thanks. I don't even want you to blow up or anything, I just want you out of here. <laughs> Too much mayhem in my life right now. Oh, there was a switch there. Uh, okay. Switch was there. Some more red coins all the way up here. Oh, okay, that's the main leak. So, second leak is over on the up there's place. How do I get over there? On the over on the up there's place, I wonder. Come crashing down, Mr. Thwomp. I don't know your gender. Sorry, uh, Mix Thwomp. Uh, sure. That's one way to prevent the player from falling off. Falling off after they grab the link. Uh, seems good, sensible to me. Well, we're gonna hop right back in because there's two more. Nice. Nice. Ok. 
Okay. All right. Okay, and we just take the ladder to get over here. That took a while. That took a long, long while. And it's mostly because this level kept killing me in nonsense ways. All the time. All over the place. Ugh. I'd like to state right now that I think this level is really neat. I think it's really cool, and I do like it. But my god, it highlights how buggy this engine is in a really bad way. And it's really not a good idea to have your your unorthodox buggy level be the level that you have like a, a, how, do I, how do I describe the red coin stuff? Like, an objective where you have to sprawl the whole level in in very specific ways in order to be rewarded with... I don't know. Language is failing me right now, but the point is that, like, this red coin mission was a bad idea in a level this janky. And I do not use that word lightly. I don't really like saying janky anymore because it kind of got co-opted by by uh, the kinds of people who just make bad faith co uh, what's the word I'm looking for I guess like I guess like commentary bad faith commentary on video games I don't know anyway we got to go up here press this switch again I actually don't know how to get over to that leak. I guess we're gonna figure that out. It might involve stopwatches, and I'm kinda scared about that, but that but uh we'll just deal with that when it's there, I suppose. Uh I wish I could have like actually gotten rid of that the bomb at all, but I just couldn't. Once I had it, there was nothing I could do but just kind of toss it somewhere ineffectively. Ineffectually, I think is the word I'm looking for, maybe. Also, I hate this one piranha plant that's right here and just never goes away. Uh, I did find out one thing on the path to getting all these red coins, which is that Iris can just make this jump. This level seems to not have been totally designed with her in mind, which I'm not complaining about right now, because it's not in the bad way like any of the ice physics levels so far in this game. It's in the good way, as in I can just skip over stuff I don't like sometimes. Wow, just bump your head and, like, have a great time. God, like... This Prana Plant just, despite the weird, wacky movingness of all of this level, still knows exactly where to aim to hit me, and it's the most annoying thing. And I still bonk my head. And I just want to get out of here. I just really want to get out of here. This level... Again, I like it. Oh, I didn't even realize that hitting that switch also made a convenient little platform to get up here. There are some good ideas that, like, facilitate backtracking and getting rid of challenges you've already done for your sake. But, like, eh. Eh. So what, what am I supposed to do, up, do here? Because I think I'm supposed to get over there, right? Something like that? Huh. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. I don't think so. I don't think that would do anything for me anyway. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm gonna bring this thwomp down. My first thought earlier was, oh yeah, I just gotta find some way to, to ride the thwomp over, but like, that doesn't make any sense. Does it? You can't make stuff appear when you hit the stop swatch, can you? Cause, oh no, that's a thought. 
don't know, do I want this? I can't remember. Hmm. Why is everything so awful? Why is everything so I don't know what I'm doing? That's a quality I don't like in anything. Well, there's another sw uh, stop swatch in the block over here, so I guess I'm just gonna... mess around? What do I want? What does that do for me? What... What does any of this do for me? Why isn't that music block real? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What's what's up with the platforms down here? Is there anything? Wait. No? Is there anything? What am I doing? Oh! That's a leaf! Okay! Huh. So something else I just realized. Huh. Once again, I don't know if this is a design with Iris in mind. What kind of what kind of run of speed do I need in order to get? My flight out. There we go. Oh, not quite. No, I had... Oh, is the conveyor belt not doing... Is the conveyor belt ruining it? No, I was able to fly right there. There we go. There's another stopwatch right here. It's an instant use one. Instead of an inventory one. Oh, it's so I can easily get in here, huh? That's fine. I didn't need it. I mean, I, I used it. I assume I didn't need it. I think I didn't need it. I think I probably wouldn't have. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, okay. All right, yeah, sure, all right. I think I did that right. I mean, I guess I guess it's reasonable to ask the player to do something that involves getting a power-up within the level. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. It was just kind of hard. It was just kind of hard to do. Still still reasonable. Uh, that's enough. That's all I'm doing. I'm not playing anymore. Thanks. Bye.